Today I will show you how to create shadows using the brush and some adjustment layers in Photoshop. This was part of my workflow when creating the banana pirate ship speed art video and I thought you guys will be interested in this so let's jump into Photoshop and let me show you how to do it. The first step I'm doing here is to add a curves adjustment layer and clip it to the banana layer. This way all the changes will be applied to that layer only. It's a nice little trick you can use when you are doing compositings like this and you have multiple layers in the scene. In the curves panel I grab this point in the whites and bring it down to lower the overall brightness of the banana, very close to zero, very close to dark. I'm using this curves layer to create the darkest shadow values on the banana and then I grab the brush tool. And as you can see, the brush is set to black, the flow is set to 50% and it's a bit soft. Before starting to paint lights or shadows, you need to check where the light is coming from, right? So in this case, it's coming from this area. And this means I will need to paint some light here and here because this part of the banana will be in the shadow and then paint some shadows on the water too. The layer mask is white at the moment and this means the effect is visible. With the black brush I will hide the effect of the curves adjustment layer in the areas where the banana needs to be brighter. So with the layer mask selected I start to paint over the banana in the areas where I want to make the light visible on this object. And because the curves layer is clipped to the banana layer I don't have to bother that I will paint outside the object. The key here is to have a low flow for the brush so that you can have a better control when painting on the object. After finishing this process, always make sure to create shadows near the object as well. In this case, it's the water. So here you can see that I'm selecting the layer with the water and then adding the exposure adjustment layer. I bring the exposure down a lot here and then I invert the layer mask with Ctrl plus I, so it becomes black. The exposure effect is not visible anymore at this time. And the next step is to start painting with white on the layer mask near the banana to unveil some dark parts of the exposure adjustment layer. So basically this layer represents the shadows on the water. And of course you need to use a softer brush with a lower opacity or flow to do this job well. And I repeated these techniques to create shadows and highlights on multiple elements in the scene. So check out the full speed art video on the screen to see how I used a bunch of elements to create the final scene. 